Why do so many of us give in to the pressures of living a life that is seen as normal or sensible, even though it makes us miserable? My name's Louisa, I'm 26, and one of the biggest dilemmas over the past few years for me has been whether to give in to the pressures of getting a nine to five job, a stable income, or to prioritize my health and my happiness and do the things that I truly enjoy and that I have a passion for. I work as a digital marketing freelancer, which means I can work from anywhere in the world. And one of my biggest passions is travel. I'm somebody that gets bored of staying in one place for too long. And I just love seeing new places, exploring the world, experiencing new cultures, meeting new people, and also creating this kind of content and vlogging it along the way. I always love having a home base here in South London. I'm so close with my family and I love my friends, but the ability to just be able to go and travel and work from wherever I want is something that I am so, so lucky and so grateful for. Now I'm heading off to Southeast Asia for the second time because after a lot of deliberation, I've decided to prioritize my health and my happiness because we don't know how long we're here for. And the idea that you get to live until you're old and you have to make these sensible decisions sensible decisions to make sure that you abide with kind of like what the norm to do is to settle down have kids get a mortgage be stable rather than prioritizing our happiness one of my goals with this youtube channel is to show people that you don't have to live your life a certain way just because society or other people tell you to do so it's your life and as far as we know, we only get one life. And I just want to enjoy mine as much as possible by doing the things that I love. I've officially landed in Singapore and it feels so good to begin this new chapter of my digital nomading. Some of my family live out here in Singapore, so it was such a nice day catching up and just taking it easy after my flight. It's so easy to take a bus to wherever I need to go in Singapore. And today we went to Katong, which is a neighborhood on the east of the island. It's such a nice neighborhood. And we had this delicious Korean fried chicken. It honestly was probably the best Korean fried chicken I've ever tasted. After lunch, my family showed me around the area and we walked past this really cool temple. And this area is known for the shop houses. So as you can see, it's just stunning. And they had so many like pet hotels, grooming shops, even like a pet therapy place, I'm sure. Katong is just such a stunning area to visit in Singapore. And there's murals on the walls, the colorful shop houses, and lots of shops and eateries to explore. We went into this shop and it was hard to not buy so many things in here because it was such a nice shop. Um, but after this, we made our way back to my uncle's house on the bus. And it was just such a lovely weekend spent catching up with family. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my content over the next few months. I'll be posting around two to three times per week. Um, and I can't wait to show you what I get up to.